Okay, this is slide 19. Okay, this is a drag and drop. You want to show all of the steps to solve this inequality. Okay, please do this before you check with the video. Okay, if you haven't already, do the problem first and then check it. Okay, I'm just doing this because I can't be with you guys today, and I, but I, I do want you guys to try first. Okay, so do the problem, pause, and then check. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go over the solution. Okay, so we have 5 times x plus 2 minus 2x is less than negative 5. Okay, these are the steps that I've been having you use to solve these types of problems. Okay, so the first thing to do is look for the distributor property if you have parentheses. Okay, and we do. We have parentheses, so we need to multiply. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, so we want to look for 5x plus 10 with the rest of the problem exactly the same, which would be this one right here. Grab it. Okay, so we have 5x plus 10 minus 2x less than negative 5. Second thing you want to do is to get in any like terms together. Okay, we do have like terms. We have a 5x and a negative 2x. Combine those to be 3x. Okay, so we need to, need to drag 3x plus 10 is less than negative 5. That would be our second step. Okay, next thing you want to do is add or subtract. Okay, you want to add or subtract the number that's added or subtracted. Okay, we want to get rid of the added 10. So we want to subtract 10 because that's the inverse operation. Okay, and after we subtract 10 from both sides, Okay, that 10 is going to go out from the left. On the right, we're going to have negative 5 minus 10. Negative 5 minus 10. So think of that as a negative 5 and a negative 10 added together. So we're going to have negative 15 on the right. So we're going to end up with 3x less than negative 15. Okay, the last step. We're going to multiply or divide. Okay, we're going to get rid of the multiplied 3. And we're going to do that by dividing both sides by 3. Okay, and after we divide both sides by 3, uh, the left side is going to be x. The right side is going to be a negative 5. Okay, and now we're dividing by a positive 3 here, guys. So the inequality symbol stays. So our answer is x less than negative 5. I want to point out real quick, a lot of kids will think that you reverse the inequality symbol when you end up with the negative answer. Okay, that negative answer has nothing to do with anything. Okay, the reason why you switch an inequality is if you divide or multiply by a negative. Okay, and we did not divide by negative we divided by a positive 3. Okay, so that inequality remains less than. Okay, so the final answer would be x is less than negative 5. Okay, you guys keep me posted. Email me if you have any trouble with, with these ideas.